This is Twit. Uh, Jeff, mm-hmm. I have a feeling that there's a reason that you're talking about System 76. Yeah, I have a confession to make. <laughs> this, I do too, but you this, go first. <laughs> this is the laptop I wish I could have bought. Oh. As I said, could have. So I've been on vacation the past couple of weeks and I had a birthday party the week before. So I've not been on the show for the past few weeks. Right before leaving for vacation, the laptop I was going to take died on me. The screen went out and I needed a laptop. Long story short, at the 11th hour needing one, I had to purchase from a local store because I didn't have time for the laptop to come in. <laughs> needing, you know, needing it now and I was limited on what I could get. But why? do bring this up is because the laptop is near to these specs on uh, the laptop I bought. It's pretty, pretty comparable to the system 76 system. And I would have loved to have purchased from system 76. I have in the past, they've great machines. Um, just, just loved them. So I, my experience with system 76 has been great. Now I have two articles linked in the show notes. Uh, one link from Linux Act and the other from 9to5 Linux, both talking about the new system, which System76 has added to their lineup. It comes with an Intel Core Ultra i9-275HX, which has 24 cores, that's eight performance cores and 16 efficiency cores. It can clock up to 5.4 gigahertz, but has a base clock of 2.7 gigahertz for the performance cores and 2.1 gigahertz for the efficiency cores. Uh, It does come with an internal GPU, but it also includes an external GPU, an NVIDIA RTX 5050, 5060, or 5070 option. You can also specify the memory from 16 gigabytes up to 96 gigabytes and several choices in size for OS drive and a second or third drive of various sizes if you so desire. The screen size ranges from 15.6 inches to 17 inches, but the screen size is also based on the GPU you want to use. The 5050 only comes in the 15.6, and the 5070 only comes in the 17 inch, while the 5060 can be had in either size. Of course, it comes with the standard connections like Ethernet, HDMI, um, Display Ports, USB connections, Ethernet, all all the standard uh, stuff you'd expect. Uh, starting price at the time of the podcast is just under 2K. It was like 199.99, and there's current because it's currently $100 off and it comes with a stainless steel water bottle and a notebook. Uh, Now that's for a limited time. So, you know, check the website, depending on when you hear this, whether that's still running or not. Um, Take a look at the article linked in the show notes for a deeper dive into the details of the system. And I would, you know, I wish I could have had time to purchase this system. I I really would have liked to. Yeah. So I, at about the same time as you went to Best Buy and bought yours or whatever big box store you went to. Best Buy. (laughs) Yeah. I figured this is the place. That's really the place to go if you need to buy one. Um, I ordered a framework, framework 13 and got that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, did not get one of the super high end models just because we didn't need it. Um, but it was one of the new ones. Um, one of the AMD do, do, do. Let's see which one was it. Um, hit the button here and find out. Um, it was one of the AMD AI 900, whatever they call it, whatever their, their terrible naming scheme for the, the new AMD chips. Oh, three, the 300 AI. Yes. Yes. So I thought, I think we got the AI five, three forty is what's in it with like 16 gigs of Ram. Uh, nice little laptop. It's small. It, it surprised us. Obviously, it's a 13-inch laptop, but it surprised us with how much smaller it was than our our previous Dell that we had out there. Um, but it is it is now the kitchen kitchen slash living room laptop that my wife uses just about as much as I probably more than I do. Honestly, um, the old laptop that we had out there was in such bad shape; like the battery was turned into a spicy pillow, and multiple keys did not work on it. And uh, it was yes, Rob, uh, a spicy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you not ever heard that term? Um, no. It's it's when a lithium ion battery uh, expands. I mean, it's, I've it's seen that plenty of times. I just called it a bulging battery, or <laughs> it's a, it's, a, it's a spicy pillow. It's yeah. It, it's, I, I've never heard that either. Oh yeah, it's a thing. I, I knew what you meant when you uttered it, but I. <laughs> 
Yeah, I've never heard that so before. did I. I got the gist of it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, there, it's it's a fun term. It's not fun when it happens, though, and it's even less fun if they actually get pierced to blow up on you. That's not good at all. So that was one of the reasons why we wanted to get that thing out of service. And uh, yeah, I've I've enjoyed the 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 process. We uh we put Fedora forty one on it, and that was a seamless install. Got everything going there. And, you know, it, it's been it's been a great little machine so far. I've enjoyed it. You might be able to get my wife to tell you a few things that she doesn't like about it. But <laughs> so if, so if we talk about it on the show, we call that spicy pillow talk. <laughs> sure, I, I'm not sure. even touching that one. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, see, the, the one I did get, it has the same 275 HX CPU. I've got uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Mine's an 18 inch screen, but it also has an NVIDIA GPU in it. And it's very similar to this one. Mm-hmm. The, the GPU though is a 5080 instead of like a 5070. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember the laptops, like the, the, when they first started making the, um, like the full on Ryzen desktop cores inside of a laptop, you guys remember those from a few years ago? Those were very mm-hmm. tempting. Like, talk about desktop replacement. Those were nuts. Uh, did not go with that. Just don't need it And they, they had very limited selection of AMD CPUs. Mm-hmm. But it seems like the, from what I was seeing, the Intel mobile CPUs are pretty good. They seem yeah. to be... Uh, yeah, I could believe Pretty that. Solid. The the AMD mobiles are really good right now, though. Too like everybody, everybody's making decent laptop pre- processor CPUs. So it just seems like the the AMD though is harder to find. I don't know if they just haven't hit the uh, hmm. manufacturing stream yet, or it was very limited. Well, there for a while, like two out of the three major uh, console manufacturers were putting AMD processors and the, the mobile AMD processors in their consoles. So, like, there was a, it was getting used for a lot of different places. Uh, that's what it, Steve right, put but in I mean, the, if you went shopping for a laptop, they didn't have the newer processors yet. Very, very slim pickings. Yeah, it's because they were getting bought up by Microsoft for the the Xboxes and Sony for the Playstations and, and Valve for the, the Steam Decks. I mean, everybody everybody was going AMD. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time to be AMD. Goodness. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>